here with a hair tutorial. Holy crap, you're probably like, look at that girl's hair. You did not do your hair. Um, no, I haven't done my hair yet. We are gonna get started in just a second. But we are going to transform this crazy, frizzy, dry, crazy mess into a nice kind of soft curled, curled look. Um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I'm going to be using. Um, and before I get into that, I'm gonna kind of explain this crazy rat nest on my hair. Um, I do have super curly hair, like I have really curly hair. This is actually, I just blue dry it, so that's why it's a little more frizzy than normal. Um, but I do have really, really curly hair, and my curls are not the same all around my head. I know, I've been blessed with curly hair. Everybody tells me that. It is a lot of work to maintain this beast. Um, it is really, really frizzy and really dry, and I have really coarse hair, but it's fine hair. So it's really crazy. I have the weirdest hair, and it has a mind of its own, let me tell you. Um, so it's a lot of work to maintain it, but I try to maintain it by keeping a lot of moisture in my hair, always heat protecting it, and a lot of oils in my hair as well. Um, so obviously this is kind of like my natural hair, blue dry. I know it's kind of a crazy mess. Um, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see in my hair, the curls are very like almost kinky small curls. So that is like natural right there. That is a natural curl. Um, when I blow dry it, it does go straighter. So my hair is actually a lot more curly than this. I know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the products that I use. I obviously always use a heat protectant in my hair because if I don't, my ends get so dry so fast, especially because my hair is a little bit longer. Um, this is the 12 Benefits um, Instant Healthy Hair Treatment. This stuff is amazing. I tried a little bit in my a little sample in my birch box, and I, I I had to buy the whole thing. I used to use the Tresemme thermal creations, which I still have and I still use occasionally, but this stuff is like a total game changer. It, I mean, it seals in color, it smooths frizz, it repairs damage, it prevents splint ends, it obviously protects from blow drying, it protects from, you know, using heat, uh, heating tools on your hair, it prevents, um, it protects from chlorine, wind, sunday. I mean, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Again, it is the 12 Benefits um, Thermal, I guess it's Instant Healthy Hair Treatment, but I use it as my thermal protectant before I blow dry my hair and before I like curl it and stuff. So I love this and I've already sprayed this in my hair today. Um, once in a while I will use, this is just a small sample size, I guess it's not really a sample size, but it's a smaller size of the Aveda, Aveda? Smo uh, smooth infusion style prep smoother um, and what I do is, is because I have so cr such crazy kinky crazy curly hair I use this also after this so I kind of put this in I kind of like blow dry it a little just to get some of the water out of my hair and then I will put this in I actually didn't use this today but um, I will once in a while use this and it does help with like maintaining frizz and smoothing out my hair a little bit so I love that um, and then I also use the Tresemme Salon Silk No Frizz Serum. It has like argan oil in it. And I actually use this after I do my hair and style it. Um, I put it just on the ends and kind of pull it out in pieces and kind of run my fingers through and kind of get the product in there. And it helps maintain this crazy frizzy mess that I have going on. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair because I can't just like curl it because this crazy, 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 crazy. I know I keep saying my hair is crazy, but it is. Um, okay, so I'm going to take about two thirds of my hair and kind of take it up out of my face um, and then use one of these little claw clips to keep my hair up there. And then I definitely take it in the back and I split it in two halves. So I have two kind of halves um, right and left to work with. Um, and then I go ahead and I actually use a round brush to kind of like run through my hair just to make sure there's no knots. And it's just easier and smoother to curl. 
All right, for my curling iron, I am using the Curl Master Ceramics. I believe this is a one and a half inch barrel. I'm not sure. I don't know. I got it so long ago, but I love this curling iron. It's so hot and curls my hair pretty fast. Um, and I actually don't use the clamp. I use it as a curling wand. So what I'll do is I'll take about an inch and a half of my hair, which is why I like this because I can take more hair because I have so much of it. Um, and I go through and I take that, I'll take the under part there, I'll point it downward, and then I kind of just wrap it around and hold. I try to make sure that my hair is smooth like this against the barrel so all of it is being heated and it gives it a nice curl. And then you wait and it's boring. <laughs> okay, after I let my curl out, I go ahead and hold it down here when it falls out. Um, and I just kind of hold it till it kind of cools down a little bit. And then I let it kind of go like that. So as you can see, my hair loves heat because it smooths it out so fast. Um, and then again, I take about an inch and a half, point it downward and curl. Okay, for the other side, I actually also do um, point it downward. I actually like to grab the piece of hair, put my barrel under it like this, and then wrap it in because I want all my curls to go the same way. And then I point it down. Just kind of hold on and wait. Obviously, the more hair you grab, the looser the curl will possibly be, but um, for this, I just don't care. And this is probably what I do, I would say 70% of the time I do my hair, this is what I do. Maybe even 80. I'm getting real technical with my percentages. Okay, so then I just hold it like that, let it cool, and release. And then, um, I'm just going to show you this one more time, just to make sure you understand what I'm doing on my opposite side. So I make sure that I pull the hair outwards, I point the top of the barrel towards the front, and then I wrap it underneath and then I point downward. And I really want to get a glove because I burn my freaking fingers all the time. And see, you don't need to get a curling wand to do the same thing. I just kind of use my regular curling wand too, as a curling, or my curling iron as a curling wand. Okay, before I pull down the next section, I do want to say that I don't finger it through. I kind of just let it be as is so it can cool in its place and with its curl. And then when I'm all done with my hair, I kind of finger it through. So let's keep going. Grab another section of hair.
Okay, and now as you get up to the kind of front parts of your hair, I definitely roll the barrel a little tighter to my head. And I usually like this, definitely this front piece, I will like hold it um, upward instead of pulling it down. Okay, so now I have my hair fully like curled and still looks kind of frizzy. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to finger this through because we don't want to brush pulling out any of those curls either. Um, I just kind of go through my scalp and massage and finger it through, you know, patting down the frizz at the top um, and just kind of finger it through, kind of go through, separate the scalp curls a little bit okay and now that you have it kind of like where you want it to be see here sorry I'm like looking in this mirror and it's not very good okay so now that I kind of have like my curls the way I want them I kind of want them to hold but I don't want to as a curly haired dry coarse gross hair girl. I don't like using hairspray. I will use it once in a while if I really, really, really need my hair to hold, but because my hair is curly, it holds a curl pretty well. Um, so I'm just going to go in with my Tresemme and I just put like two pumps in and I put it like most of it in my hands and then I just take little pieces of my curls and just go through. Just kind of give them shine. Now when I take this, I don't put it on top of my head, although I do at the end kind of take whatever excess and I kind of like pat down like the frizzies on the top because that drives me nuts. Um, and I have really dry hair. I don't have oily hair at all. I have dry everything. I have dry skin. I have dry hair and just dry all over. Um, so it's okay, I think, if I do that. If you have like super oily hair, then definitely don't do that. Okay. Okay, so that is the final finished product of my hair. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial and hopefully it helped. Definitely if you have curly, crazy, frizzy, coarse, dry, awful hair like me and you suffer in my pain as well, then hopefully this helped you just a little bit. I don't know, but I had fun doing it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.